Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the double kettlebell armor building complex. The armor building complex is an old RKC idea. This was created by a trainer called Dan John, I believe his name is, and it's a really cool concept. It is a monster lift where you alternate the numbers. A monster lift is where you put three or more moves together. Where you alter the numbers is where you take different numbers for each one of the moves. So you can take this one idea and expand it almost infinitely. This series is comprised of two cleans, one press, and three squats. Point, two feet generally straight ahead, but you might turn out because you're using double kettlebells a little bit. Two hands on the bells, which should be 12 to 18 inches in front of your feet. Push your hips back like the bottom of a deadlift. Point, two thumbs back. You'll hike the weight back, stand all the way up, catch at shoulder height. Thumbs back, hike back. Catch, one rep, two rep, that's two cleans. Insert the double overhead press. Straighten both legs all the way. Drive your hips forward. Squat, three reps. One, two, three. Set the weight all the way down. Push it back. Now let's demonstrate it with a double dip clean. You can take this exercise and plug it into an EMOM protocol every minute on the minute. That means you would do one complex each minute for 10 to 20 minutes. So set a timer for 60 seconds. When the bell rings, do two cleans, one press, three squats. Set it down, rest for the rest of the minute. When the next minute comes around, do the same thing. Two, one, three. This is a lot of work in a short period of time, but you have all of your basic core Olympic lift movements in there. You have cleans, you have overhead presses, and you have squats. This is essentially Olympic barbell training shoved into kettlebell training so that it is portable and you can do it absolutely anywhere. One of the things that separates this from barbell training is the double rack position. In barbell, you're open. In the double kettlebells, when you catch, you're gonna catch more like a fighter. You're gonna have your hands in front of you with your elbows in. This helps a lot of people who are combat athletes learn how to round their body and move their scaps in a different way than they would learn with barbell. If you did this idea, two cleans, one press, three squats, you would like to build up to doing it with at least double 24 Ks. But with this timing protocol, you can build up towards double 32s. Then this becomes super high heart rate, short breaks, and all your core movements. And there is no way to get through this without your core firing. That's why it was called an armor building complex, because there's no way out for your core. You end up with a very, very strong core. Anytime you do a double kettlebell front squat, you are forced to fire your core. Double kettlebell press, forced to fire. Double kettlebell clean, forced to fire. If you have only one kettlebell, you can also do this. With one hand, hard style, single dip, thumb points back, hike the weight back, snap your hips up. One clean, two cleans, press, lock out your elbow, arm straight overhead. Thumb at collarbone height, three squats. One, two, three, hand change, thumb back, thumb up, thumb back, catch, one, two, press, elbow lockout, thumb at collarbone height, elbow inside the knee, one, two, three, set the weight down by pushing it back. By doing these three actions, the clean, the press, and the squat with the kettlebell on one side, you will restore core firing the way that it's not normally done in the gym. By using the kettlebell on one side, putting all the weight on one side, we are restoring basic human athletic potential. If you're working out on the farm, you pick things up, you put them on one shoulder, you carry them, you lift them up. Everything kind of starts from one shoulder or it's in front of your body. With this idea, whether it's done with two kettlebells or one kettlebell, you absolutely do that. There is no way out. If you have only access to lightweights, you would do more sets. If you can start to add weight to the system, you would keep the number of sets the same and you would go up in weight. The more you go up in weight, 
the better your overall core firing will be, the better it will translate to all future athletic activities or work. By doing this, you will reduce lower back pain because you will balance out the way the muscles in your core fire. Very, very simple idea can be done anywhere, has an infinite amount of variability within that one idea. And the best thing about kettlebells is you can drag them out of the back of your truck at a job site or anywhere and get back in the natural world and start breathing the way that we're supposed to breathe and move your body the way you're supposed to move it.